Good night. That was in the wrong order for some reason. Wow, we're really jumping right into it today. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Shuffle. <laughs> ROCpodcasts.com. Eric Radio. Oh, it's so awful. You're going to love it. Well, here they come again. They heard that things were happening. With mics in front of faces, their lips began to flapping. They talk about world and local news reports. And even Steph Michaels, because she's a doggy whore. Corey says, man, Man, it's a goddamn joke. joke. Corruption is abundant and the POTUS is a host. Stacy says, man, I'd like to act, but Americans are lazier than most, that's fact. So go get a bowl, a spoon, and some cereal, and sit your ass down, it's time for Air Wreck Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking, and thank you for choosing Air Wreck Radio. We'd like to apologize in advance if there's any inconvenient cause, but, uh... It is the second day of December in the beautiful year of 2013. I am Corey Boo Boo, <laughs> and I am Stacy, <laughs> and this is episode 30 Ooh. of episode of uh, Air Wreck Radio. Episode of episode. Is this episode 30? Episode 30. 30. Can we have a round of applause for episode 30, 30 please? Thank 30 you. Yeah, woo! what it sounds like when we uh, do live shows. You patch back at the hideaway brewery and nobody shows up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Mostly because it's not you're not invited to show up. Yeah, this is our commemorative and important high school-like anniversary show. Yeah, 30. We have. It's not uh, really a... We 30 weeks. 30. It's a round number. It's, I felt special. Yeah. Looked good to me. It's like twice as many as 15 weeks. When human beings celebrated, it's important. So why not a podcast? Is that, uh, where is a fetus in development at, at 30 weeks? Does anybody know? Almost to 32 weeks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good answer. All right. Yeah, babies are born at 39. Oh, so 30 is definitely, that's yeah. pretty late term stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No aborting this show. Mm-hmm. Oh. Not, not Ba-doom mistake. boom flush. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stick that joke with a hanger and see what <laughs> <laughs> See that one was better. <laughs> we are uh we are recorded live. Yeah, it's another abortion first break, folks. <laughs> recorded it's, live. In. it's not. We promise. We're done with that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, start the show like we would like we're professionals. You, talk you, dirty. You, you got through your radio voice date and time thing and you're Corey Boo Boo and I'm Stacy and this is episode 30 and now we're back where we were. We are recorded live in the Hideaway Brewery Studios. Remodeled. Fake radio doing fake reads for real beer. Tasty, tasty beer. This week's beer of choice is Seagram's VO Canadian <laughs> Whiskey. <laughs> 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 Uh, before we get going, I want to apologize to uh, all of our loyal fans and listeners and wreckheads and people that still put up with this ridiculous thing we call a show. I would like to just take a moment to interrupt your apology and mm-hmm. say that mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. in no way, apologize for this uh-huh. okay. at all. So what you're saying is fuck them. No, I'm saying it wasn't my fault at all. Oh, okay. What so, you're doing uh, is dodging you're not getting kind of plane. Air Wreck Radio apologizes, gotcha. but this isn't Stacy's bad. I said I wanted either. to apologize. I know. Well, I wanted to be clear that it was you, Corey, Boo Boo, not <laughs> Eric Radio, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I don't know why it was all poppy, clicky, clicky, poppy, poppy, clicky, clicky. <laughs> so that's what we're apologizing for. Yes, but uh, suddenly our podcast turned into 1970s uh, AM radio. Yeah, it sounded uh, particularly awful. 
poppy and whistly. I guess if you like vinyl, Awful. you might have liked last week's show. Awful. Yeah, it was pretty bad sounding. Terrible. And I apologize. It made me want to kill myself. It made me want to just throw myself right off a bridge. You shouldn't do that. Uh, Maybe I should. It's very close to Christmas, man. What will your girls do? Oh, see, why do you got to be sad? I was just going for a little yeah. lighthearted suicide humor. <laughs> All I wanted to tell you, that's what kind of friend and I am. you got to bring the kids <laughs> into it, you dirtbag. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, they- what the fuck happened last week, Corey? You shit. Is that better? Yeah, that's much better. Okay. <laughs> I'm a loser. I'm sorry. You're garbage. I'm going to go hang myself. Your podcast is garbage, too. Except for that guy that sounds like me. He's I'm going to hang myself with an important fetus. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ew. <laughs> Just ew. It's not even really going to work. <laughs> Unless you, like, make rope out of it. But that's disgusting, and I'd really like to move off of that conversation. <laughs> this is not what I meant when I said you guys needed to talk dirty. Dirty. <laughs> At all. Not the good. kitchen dirty. Go clean it. Is that what you meant? <laughs> Your food's going to be dirty. If you don't shut up. <laughs> all right, all right. I apologize. Bang up the food. Well, it's never stopped it before. It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> the fucker loves China Buffet. Also oh. true. Also, these are true facts. I do like me some China Buffet. So what happened last week? Do we know? I don't. I Okay. You spilled what? a beer on the board. Does that uh, have anything to do with it? I don't think so. I don't think Maybe. so either. <laughs> Maybe. They're pretty water resistant. I've never I seen spill. beer make anything sound worse. <laughs> <laughs> Except for us. Uh, I didn't spill like, a whole beer. I spilled a couple of a drops. A very tiny amount. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're pretty water resistant. They really are. Yeah. Uh, no, I think what happened is like for the first 15 minutes, we were a little high uh, on the main out. And I, I noticed it and I pulled it down, but I think what happened is Ugh. that created a poppy effect. Snore. And then when I leveled it, Boring. <laughs> I fucked up and didn't realize <laughs> there you go. what had happened and that it ruined things and I had done fucked up again. Okay. I do that at least once a week. Well, now we're down to the heart of it. It's okay. <laughs> Shit happens. <laughs> it's like I told the financial Weep. advisor. Shit happens. Weep. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize for the strange sounding noises coming from your small dog. He is a warrior. A warrior of many noises. He's nervous, and I think he has to go out. <laughs> I gotta take a poo. Oh, this is great podcast. Isn't this it wonderful? I feel podcasting. really good about this first break. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're only ten minutes in. Eight, eight minutes and five seconds. We can pull it around. We can pull it back out of the spin. Did you hear any crazy Black Friday stories? <gasps> no. Me neither. Piss. This break sucks. <laughs> this break is so bad. You heard some? Would you come over and sit down at the mic and tell the stories? I have to fill in the dead air. Hurry up. You don't have to fill in the dead air. Stop. <laughs> Relax. Some yeah. mother, I think it was in Chicago, stabbed and killed four people Jesus. to get an Xbox. You didn't hear about this? No, I didn't at all. Um, And she is sitting in jail, and she said, I don't care. I won't take it back. We my can't son take has an back. Xbox. My son has an Xbox, and that's all that matters this year for Christmas. Yo, he's got an Xbox One, nigga. That bitch be fucking dead. She killed a pregnant woman. One of the women was a pregnant uh, woman. Whoa, that's a double count in and that of was itself. Not even after an Xbox. This bitch she ain't happened to be in the area. This bitch ain't okay. All right, oh, all right. Jesus, do you Did got this, anything like a little lighter out of the game? Yes. <laughs> Is this isn't the sto- This isn't a story. <laughs> this isn't a kooky Black Friday story. What we just got was a story of a, mo- a mass murder oh, that the- happened that just happened to happen on that day. Hey Corey, by remember a that thing that I said about you know like don't kill yourself. Fuck it, dude. Let's drink the Kool Aid. This. <laughs> I, thanks for bringing me down. I have a better one. Oh. You, do you, does anybody know where the Mall of America is? Because I'm not sure I do. It's in America. A it's guy in the Midwest threw somewhere. Like a thousand dollars into oh, the yeah. air. Oh yeah. No, I had that as a headline. Black Friday. Spoiler what is alert. Black Friday. Yes, yeah, a spoiler <laughs> alert. Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's gonna be in the headline Friday news. Story. Yes, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly less sad, <laughs> unless it caused like a uh, a stampede. No, I think he just got arrested. You got arrested? Yeah. Yo, yeah, that's an uh, uh, enticing a riot. All no, right. You're not supposed to do that shit. U.S. It was a thousand dollars. It wasn't yeah. like he dropped twenty grand on the joint, making it rain. He threw fives. <laughs> they're, they're saying he made it snow. This is. 
U.S. News Drizzle. on NBCNews.com. <coughs> man made it snow money. <laughs> a Minnesota man was ticketed after he tossed. He was ticketed. He wasn't arrested. Okay. After he tossed one thousand in uh, one thousand dollars in dollar bills from the third floor of the Mall of America into an audience watching a performance there, police said. Voro Byov had allegedly stamped each of the singles with the address of his YouTube page before dumping the money on a crowd Friday, which had gathered in the rotunda for a performance by a trio of vocalists singing Let It Snow. What that an does. awesome... That guy let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. You know, what, you know why he got ticketed? I bet. I haven't read this whole... St- uh, you, you're not supposed to... He defaced money. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, okay. So let's read the story and find out. Serge Vorobyov said that in... Said so, in I'm sorry, who, who said what now? V-O-R-O-B-Y-O-V. That guy, all Serge right. said in a YouTube video, Serge Berzak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Serge said in a YouTube video following the incident at the main, at the mall in Bloomington, that it was his last thousand dollars, and that he was going through a divorce. Oh man. <laughs> oh, good for her. Jeez. Good for him. Yeah. It's better than that bitch this gets story's it. story's a downer, too. Good for him. I thought I'd just spread some money holiday cheer. I'm sorry. I thought I, I, I read holiday cheer, but said money. <laughs> 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 I thought I'd just spread some holiday cheer, be positive, and pay it forward type of thing, he said in the video, and make it snow money, in quotes. As the, tri- as the trio sang the stanza, Let It Snow, Serge, who was riding an escalator, pulled the singles from a bag by the handful and tossed the money oh. over the railing, prompting the crowd below to audibly gasp and reach to the sky and attempt to catch his falling bills. All right. Can I interrupt you for one second? Sure. He had a bag full of ones. He had a thousand, he had a thousand one dollar bills. <laughs> right. Yeah. So he went to a bank and said, I'd like to empty my bank account, please. And I'd like it in once. You don't know that. He might have been a stripper. Oh, fair enough. That's a fair approximation Could of the situation. Could be the cause for the divorce. Well, instead of this rotten bitch getting my goddamn $500. Man, you don't know she's a rotten bitch, man. We don't even know her name. Wow, woman. <laughs> she's just be a lady. <laughs> rotten bitch said of getting my $500. Maybe this is the kind of shit this dumb. Maybe he was like, well, instead of spending <laughs> this last $1,000 on cheap vodka, I'm just going to give it away. Fuck that rotten bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. This guy's my fucking hero. He's like an He went to the mall with a bag of money in his hand and intending on throwing it. Not like he was like moved by the moment he was and decided to throw his, you know, handful of twenties in the air. <laughs> You're not on a mic. Yeah, nobody can hear <laughs> nobody can hear you talking. So. Bloomington <laughs> police gave Surge a ticket for disorderly conduct for his elaborate stunt. It's not even elaborate. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it take that, like he set I, up I a described stage it already. Shit. It didn't take that much work. <laughs> he was in an escalator and threw a thousand dollars and say it's not very elaborate. He kind of went to the bank and then went to the mall. I mean, well, okay. and yes. He had to assemble one thousand single dollar bills. I guess that's elaborate, sorta. Quote I don't see how holiday cheer is a disorderly conduct, end quote, Serge responded. Uh, Serge, pal, I think you might be misunderstanding exactly. Like, holiday cheer is not disorderly conduct, but inciting a mob. However, your attention-seeking efforts to go to the Mall of America, the biggest mall in the country, and throw $1,000 in ones premeditated out of a sack, your attention-seeking efforts here have been recognized. Well, he was advertising for his website, wasn't he? Ah, probably. He's... Be a moron if you didn't have something to plug. I tell you what, we got to get a hold of this guy. Air Rec Radio. I think he rocks. I give him props for what he did. Mall of America spokeswoman Sarah Schmidt, sounds like a Jew. I'm just saying. <gasps> told the Star Tribune that it was the first incident of its kind for the mall 
and that Surge disrupted the. I'm sorry. Disrupted Surge. the. Per- I, I can't pronounce his last name. Surge. So I'm just calling him Surge. It's his first name. Disrupted the performance and could have caused a serious situation. Now, I would like to just take a quick, just a quick second to point out Sam that we've Volvo. seen serious situations at malls. And I'm not saying that, like, this is a terrific action, but because it could have incited a mob. I mean, honestly, it could have incited, you know, a, a big ass problem. Nobody got shot. Yeah, Ray. a mob didn't really happen, right? No, it didn't. I mean, I, it, the story doesn't actually say that. It does say that Serge was released at the scene, so that seems likely. And he was only ticketed, so, I mean. Happy Black Friday, folks. <laughs> Here's your one dollar bills. Woo! I'm sorry. I think this guy's just an attention whore. I think that's all this. A holiday cheer, the divorce, none of it. This guy was just like, ah, viral video. Here we come. Was there video of it? I'm sure there was. Not on this website. There wasn't viral video. And not here on we this come. podcast. There isn't because we don't do video. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As outside of our technological capability, too much work is what that is. Too much money is what that is. So Corey, Paul Walker died. Oh, I heard, and then I heard, and then I was that I then I was doing something, and I heard, and then somebody mentioned it to me, and then I heard about it, and then I saw it. Anybody know the guy's name that was driving the car? Nope, he's Anybody. not famous. Nobody Anybody. cares. Did he die too? Oh yeah. Yeah, he's in the same condition as Paul Walker. Hey, did you know crispy critter style? Forty-two thousand other Americans are gonna die in car crashes this year. Um, probably not at over hundred miles an hour and burnt to a crisp. Doesn't really matter. Buy a dead professional person. race car driver. I'm just saying. Buy a professional race car driver, but um, and none of them are gonna be. I what did you say? Um, a talentless dreamboat. Uh. Dreamy, terrible actor. Oh, that's what you he said. Is okay. Dreamy, yeah. And a terrible actor. Terrible All actor, right. Dreamy. Not anymore, though. Now he's now gone. he acts now he's real dead. good, stiff. Now he's dead. So that sucks. But like, honestly, uh, forty-two thousand Americans will die in car crashes this year. So, you know, that's. It's but again, like I just said to her, they're not famous. Nobody gives a fuck. His name is Roger Rodas. Who? Thank you, staff. All Nikki, right. Nikki. No, his Yay. name is Paul Walker. No, the guy that was driving the car, Roger Rodas. <laughs> his name is Robert Paulson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. In death, we have names. Oh, okay. okay. Fight Club. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Okay. <sighs> A good movie with good actors. <laughs> Are we going to review movies now? Still alive. No, I don't think we need to review Fight Club. Uh, but let's <laughs> now that we're there, let's do it. So Fight Club is... A- <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking reviewing Fight Club. Somebody out there might not have seen it. It's an important Well, film. if they haven't, he's talking to himself the whole time. Let's move the fuck on, oh, shall we? Spoiler alert. <laughs> if you have you have you listened to any interesting podcasts lately, sir? Nope, they were all off last week. I know, isn't it? Isn't it a little uh, frustrating not having any of your normal listening material? I it, I bought Rhapsody, so it was kind of timely, but it was uh, I feel dumber now because I didn't get to learn stuff. There's I no caught him. Stuff. I caught him listening to Air Rack Radio. That does happen. That's how fucking dumb I got, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted to make yourself dumber. But I had to listen to last week's episode of Air Wreck Radio. I was so nothing else that I made it through the pops and whistles. <laughs> <laughs> what are the pops and whistles? The show? It was, it was. If you listened to the show, you'd know. That you were just watching. No, no, no. Like, literally, the show you're sitting on right now. Yeah. We talked about it for 10 minutes. Even this show. Like, this one. Uh, pops and whistles? I called it 1970s AM radio. Last week's uh, show sounded yeah, I must funky. not have been listening. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> That's a big shocker. You know, you invite people to come on your podcast and hang out and let's talk to a microphone, and then they don't listen to what you're And then they make you saying. your fucking food. Oh! <laughs> this seems like a great time but for see, me to update my computer security. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> great time. See, they used to do that, They but they do that without... The mic being on. Oh. Just so everybody in the sh- show knows, I am a- back. I see you <laughs> updating oh, no. your Microsoft security essentials, sir. 
I only ever turn this computer on once a week. Well, it was time. Yeah. Oh, what'd you do? Your nail dripped on me. Oh, well, you know, it's condensated. Oh, it's got condensated. Oh, hey, bad joke time. What do they call it at meteorology school when the girls ask the guys to the dance? Oh, God. I think I know this one. Uh, they call uh, it a condensated hockey. Oh, God. Thank you. I'll be here all night. In fact, I live here, so I'll be here a little longer than that, too. I have a slight girl news statement, but it's not really... We don't need to introduce girl news. No, we do. That's how that no, works. No, no, oh, no. fine. Whatever. It's like a thing. No, we'll, we'll, we'll like do it. Thing. We'll do it in... She insists. So, any listeners out there... There's no stopping her. Any listeners out there that want to help me make an Airwreck radio cookbook will receive $20 gift card to Marketplace Mall. Wow, okay, this is getting pricey. Wow. Email who's me. Who's paying? Wait, who's paying? Well, that? You, gotta... you can email me at TammyCoglin at gmail.com. All right, you got to remember that we are a podcast, so the gift certificates towards Amazon or whatever they like, we're technically all over the world. Yeah, you don't want a marketplace mall is not the place to give a gift certificate. To. Just think of, you know, you know. I will give you $20 in a form that you can. Cash pay. like money. Cash like money is what yep. we call it. Cash like cash money. Like money. <laughs> Speaking of twenty dollars, cash like money. Thank you for the segue. So we got a new one going. You want to contribute to the the Airwreck Radio Cookbook? Uh, anything creative? That's right. Recipes. Your favorite <laughs> Be Real podcast is coming out with a cookbook. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> it's called Snack Rack. Exactly, something like that. <laughs> yeah, give us names, oh, creative God, I input. Love the <laughs> terrible theme of names. <laughs> Uh, but uh, speaking of twenty dollars cash like money, Ooh. we uh, did we get a winner? We have a winner. Woo! Who is it? Who is it? Ding, ding, ding. His name's name is o- all over. It is listener William Bell. William Bell <laughs> wins twenty dollars cash like money. The guy that invented the phone. Um, yes. no, that's Alexander Graham Bell. <laughs> it's just funny that you went there because when I saw it, I went Art Bell, the radio guy. Uh. coast to coast with Art Bell. Well, congratulations, oh, all right. William. I don't know. Do we know <laughs> Listen to the radio. Yeah, it's it's William Bell, the inventor of the phonograph. <laughs> the photograph. <laughs> he wins twenty dollars cash, like money, for finding missing audio from the or finding the audio from the missing episodes of Air Wreck Radio. Congratulations. Where can people like his Facebook page. You can. Mm. Oh, we, you don't do that. <laughs> uh, I'd like to congratulate uh, William Bell, and I hope that he enjoys his. Is twenty dollars in cash it's like money. cash like money? You have no idea how hard we had to work to give that to you. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Did we have to shove it down your fucking? Our throat. next contest is going to be super easy. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, contribute. Uh, I guess it's going to be not really a contest. It's more like a we'll give you. That's a lot of money for a recipe. I did not say to contribute a recipe to. There you get twenty dollars. Anybody who wants to help me build a air rec radio cookbook, oh, I see, will receive twenty dollars. I don't it. have the time to do it all. So I anybody who wants the worst paying part time job ever, ever, oh, yeah. <laughs> ever, your name will definitely go on the book. <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs> your name will definitely go on the blast page somewhere. I'm sure. I'm sure the guys will be like, yeah, throw their name in there somewhere, man. And we would. We'd be like, dude, you got to put their name in the first We'll spell page. it in the first name of, or in the first letter of each recipe. <gasps> oh! Whoa. Cakey! It would be like the uh, the Da Vinci Code or something of terrible B-podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we B-podcast? This is bullshit. Well, we're not A-listers. I think B is pretty uh pretty We are, in fact, A-listers. We are lower-level A-listers. Fuck you, we're lower-level A-listers. Oh, well. They call that B or maybe C. <laughs> Probably D. <laughs> no, it's lower level A list, baby. That's who we are. I could have been honest. When we don't delete H our show. <laughs> Why do I do this with you? I don't know. Because you somebody are negative has to. Fuck. No, I'm not, actually. You're the one talking about jumping off a bridge or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty suicidal. Yeah, but my podcast Hanging rules. yourself with a fetus and I'm dark. <laughs> <laughs> but my podcast rules, so that you know. <laughs> It all works out in the end. Sorry, we started a little bit late, and I've already been drinking beer. Yeah, whatever. I was talking to a financial advisor and life insurance guy. 
Oh, uh, how much you getting? That's Why not really. That's Nobody is not killing me. Really for uh, for podcast talk, money's like that was the joke for me to look at your wife and ask. No, but how she would have answered the question. So. <laughs> <laughs> When are we pushing them down the stairs? I'll send you a Facebook invite. <laughs> <laughs> I'm posting an event now. <laughs> Our annual whoops party. <laughs> uh, I think that's enough for this atrocity of a first break. Hooray! Atrocity. We've made it. Atrocity. Oh, God, it's only fitting. I know. <laughs> I know. Congratulations, listener. We've made it through the end of our first break, and so have you. Listen to Air Wreck Radio on airwreckradio.com, rockpodcasts.com, iTunes, and Stitcher.
Greetings, Earth scum. It is I, Dr. P, commander of the Lost Cosmonauts podcast. Listen up. I'm using my superior intellect to hack the planet and tell you about a brand new conglomerate of podcasters from the Rochester, New York area. Rockpodcast.com. That's right, rockpodcast.com. They have a huge assortment of free podcasts on the local sauce. You like comedy? They've got that. You like sports talk? They fucking got that shit, too. You like family-friendly, safe-for-your-grandma and grandpa howdy duty type shows? Oh, they got a whole lot of that. They also keep our shit on file. So go on over to rockpodcast.com, subscribe, listen, become a better person. Watch Sour, out.
that wasn't really the hold up. I was breaking your balls. No, no, it is now. Do it. <laughs> We're fucking recording now. It's going to the podcast. Do it. Bring us back. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Eric Radio. <laughs> it's time once again for everybody's favorite headline news. Oh, Where the hell yeah. Did Tammy hold go? What? Tammy. Oh, shit. Ready? You ready? I had a queued up this time. What? Headline news. Ah, uh, yeah. Radio. <laughs> That's a good job, Corey. <laughs> you're doing, you're doing good, good work over there. <laughs> I run a loose board. You know what I'm saying? You I know, like to keep it loose. I like loose, to keep it flowing, like a hot dog in a hallway. Well, you know, I like to keep it going. I like Maybe to keep the, I like to keep the fungus shway. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm on a positive kilt, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's more like a hot dog on an airstrip. <laughs> <laughs> Very loose soundboard we run at Airac Radio. Switched at birth. Son born to rich parents <laughs> sues hospital after life of poverty. In Tokyo, Japan, a man was born to wealthy parents and was adopted... They put him up for he was born to very wealthy parents. All right. And was adopted. Huh? By poor parents. Oh. Japan's starting to look a lot like Mother Russia here. In Mother Russia, tell you the truth. In Fatherland. Don't poverty, mean. find you. I don't care. Whatever. In Feng Shui land. That's China. <laughs> Um, here on Eric Radio, we take our broadcasting very seriously. The man spent decades living. Hmm. Huh. I might have this story wrong. Why don't I just read it out loud? That's a good idea. <laughs> I I got a story that I want to do just like that. A Japanese man born to wealthy parents has been awarded about three hundred seventy-one thousand dollars in damages after accidentally being switched with another baby. Oh my god, he wasn't adopted. After accidentally being switched with another baby and spending decades living in poverty. It was almost 60 years before DNA tests revealed the life-changing mistake. Jesus. Decades. Six of them. Six Six decades. God, they shouldn't have said decades. They should have spent a lifetime. I thought he was 30. (laughs) (laughs) 60. (laughs) Wow. Lifetime of poverty. Man. It was almost 60 years before a DNA test revealed the life-changing mistake by a hospital worker who had bathed the newborns and returned them to the wrong mothers. The men spent decades, 60 years, living each other's lives, one man living off welfare checks before working as a truck driver and another enjoying a private education and now running his own real estate business. Well, everybody wins. I feel regret and also anger the poverty-stricken man who has withheld his identity told a press conference on Wednesday. I want them to turn back the clock. Well, son, old man. Obviously, you went to public schools, or you would have a proper understanding of how time works. <laughs> they can't turn the clock back. Listen, listen, honestly, no, for real. If the, the switch hadn't made, we'd had one poor kid and, and one, one rich, rich kid. kid. And that's what we got. Now, no, what we have is one rich kid oh, you're right. and one rich adult, because he just got a big payday. Yeah, $371,000. I will be interested to follow up on this story. I probably won't, but I, I will be interested. I, like right now, I will say that I would like to follow up on this story and find out how broke this man is one year from now. Yeah, that's a, it's only three hundred seventeen. Was that in American cash? They put a dollar sign in front of it instead Probably. of a yen sign. So assume it. What and is the, the internet yen sign? does? It's the Y with the two hash marks. Oh, okay. Yeah, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, now you know something. All right. Look at that. Iraq Radio. Somebody might learn something some of the time. Eventually, someday, maybe. Yes. Uh, I knew, yeah, I knew the pound symbol. I didn't know the N. My bad. Yeah, that sucks for that dude. But like, let's put a positive spin on that story. 
All right. A 60-year-old man is rich as fuck and runs his own real estate property because he luckily got switched at birth. <laughs> we got to, it's a Christmas miracle now. This, yeah, yeah. You grew up poor. You grew up poor. You got all the character and hard work and discipline. No, 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 no. And no, no, no. The one that grew up rich. Oh, good luck for you, sir. You're welcome. He runs his own real estate. Yeah, because he he's, got good... he's got his own business now. Congratulations, you won the lottery at life. But that's not. Thank the story you very that much, the, Eric. That the news support tells. staff. The snacks are in, and Corey's distracted. Sorry. <laughs> There's food they were giving me. There's pretty girls giving food. I couldn't help it. Uh, China deploys only aircraft carrier after U.S. sends B-52s Whoa. over disputed islands. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, the, this isn't a long one. The great threat, China. Yeah. The million man army. Yes. How many aircraft carriers? One in every American soul. One in every American soul? Yes. How many aircraft carriers? One. The Great Threat, the Million Man Army, the only other superpower that could take us. I'd like to point out a fine detail of this story. Um, the one Chinese aircraft carrier... Released one. ...carries 600,000 pilots and planes... It's a big China, it's a big character carrier, and it's, still. and it's an airborne aircraft carrier, like the pirate from Tailspin. <laughs> <laughs> this story just got a whole lot of interesting, didn't it? Sure did. Well, too bad none of that was real. <laughs> this is the Agents of Shield type bullshit. Yep, nope, that's not true. None of what I just said is true, except about the that only sound the, the one aircraft carrier. China has deployed its one and only aircraft carrier after two unarmed American B-52 bombers flew over a disputed island chain and through what China insists is restricted airspace. Huh. U.S. military officials told NBC News that the B-52s were only looking for the love shack. Love shack, the love shack, baby, the love shack. That's not true. No. I made that up, too. No. That nope. was fun, though. This made news, me dance. It was I'm, fun. Glad, I'm glad you came up with that. Yeah, that was good. That was fun. U.S. defense officials actually <laughs> told NBC News that the Chinese had not engaged in a provocative act or made any demands against American or Japanese military in the region. Japan and China both claim the island chain in the East China Sea that the B-52s flew over in search of the of shack. Provocative. Yeah. So... China and Japan both claim the same islands, and we flew our planes over those islands. Yes. Because we're Americans that fuck you. Those are actually our islands. We own the world. <laughs> we police the world. We should own it, even though the rest of the world didn't really ask us to police it. And we went into Pakistan, what? Nobody said what? Huh? Okay. Uh, because we're Americans and we say fuck you, we'll fly anywhere we want. I I don't say that. But America does. Yeah, America certainly says that. Uh, and now where there's an issue, why didn't we just we just flew planes over? I mean, you know, and you know what? Let's let us handle your one aircraft carrier. How many more you got? Because you better crank them out a little bit faster than one at a time. The U.S. officials said that the Chinese aircraft carrier, the Lion Yang, the Lion Ing. I'm sorry, the Lion. The Lying Lion? The Lion Ing. It's a fibbing feline? Oh, it's Chinese, man. It doesn't mean what it sounds like. It's not Germanic. <laughs> the Lion Ing had no aircraft on board and had never flown an aircraft. Well, of course not. It's an aircraft carrier. It doesn't fly How could planes. it fly an aircraft? Uh, it wouldn't even fit in the cockpit, stupid. <laughs> it was described by one U.S. naval officer as a <laughs> museum that does not pose a threat. <laughs> the carrier is considered decades behind U.S. technology. China bought it from Ukraine. Oh, my gosh. They bought it from a third world country in 1998. The, Whoa, this story actually says <coughs> the Million Man Army, the great threat. This story actually says the carrier is considered decades behind U.S. technology. China bought it from Ukraine in 1998 and fixed it up. But represents... <laughs> <laughs> 
gave it an old overhaul. But, we threw some paint on this bitch, threw some new leather seats leather. in it. But represents Chinese naval ambition. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh, but yeah. you are fucked, sir. This is the country that brought us, I think the uh, Ming Dynasty was the naval superpower, but I might be wrong about that. But they definitely had naval superpowers before. And As of right now, you are fucked, sir. And, and hey, just so that we're clear here, uh, Chinese overlords, I'm joking. I love you. China. Yeah. You Chinese overlords, I want you to go on the YouTube, but I want you to look up a little thing called Laser Beam. Look it up. On YouTube? Check it out. Yes. Is this about P? No, this is about a front-mounted uh, battleship with a laser cannon. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a front-mounted battleship? You mounted there, it's it It's a front-mounted front? laser cannon on a battleship. Neat. Sweet. What does it do? Shoots laser beams at things laser and blows them up. Shit, it lasers stuff with lasers. Yes, like not with like laser laser range finding or. No, it shoots a concentrated beam of light at a target and lights it on fire <gasps> instantly. Neat. That's way cool. <laughs> yeah. Tell me you, more. YouTube it. Oh, I can't tell you more. I know it's still in its testing phases, but I've seen the videos on YouTube of it blowing uh, aircraft out of the sky, drones out of the sky. Huh. Man, we need a better facility with a monitor so that I can see that. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's just why we had like four computer screens. <laughs> We're down a couple. And, nope. Oh, wait, four functional ones or? Oh, yeah, no, we're down to two functional. Yeah, we are down to two. Three yeah. computer screens, two of them work. Yeah. You do the math. Yeah. Air Rec Radio. Fuck math. <laughs> <laughs> Air Rec Radio, because math is hard. I got a, you got any stories? Uh, you got nothing else? You're out? No, I'm not out. I got one in the, in the chamber. That you want to hold down a little bit? No. It's more like Russian roulette. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's got something, let's bring it to the table. Um, Tammy had one. Yeah, Lindsay Lohan. Throw it out. Let's hear it. I got stuff, but let's hear I want to open this story with the statement by Lindsay Lohan that she is not suing Grand Theft Auto Maker's rock star creator. She oh, is she is just urging her lawyers to take action against them. Because mm. there are a couple scenes in Grand Theft Auto where missions where missions. it is obviously her. She's at the bar that she likes to hang out at, and then in one of the missions she is fighting off the paparazzi. And then the player has to follow her back to her home and videotape her having sex. Oh, I recall that mission. So do I. But uh, I didn't know Lindsay Lohan, L Lindsay Lohan hung out in Los Santos. I had no idea. I I also the no bar idea. called Martha something is where she generally hangs out, and they. I gotta say, they have the name that was for Dom the paparazzi. It's Dom the paparazzi? No, Barry the paparazzi. Yeah, Barry. <laughs> Don't <laughs> let me die, Barry. <laughs> is, a, is a quote from the Misfits show that I watched and, and told people to watch. <laughs> um, if your life closely resembles a character who looked like an asshat in a Grand Theft Auto game, perhaps the problem is not the Grand Theft Auto game. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Didn't make you feel guilty at all being the paparazzi? It said right at the beginning of the game. It did make me feel a little dirty. It, at the right at the beginning of the game, it said uh, any any likenesses or, likenesses or whatever are are completely coincidental. It's yeah. all fiction. Thanks, Larry. Well, doesn't that like release them from ambition? I don't think from, it does. Not ambition. It absolutely does legally. That's why they do it in every movie and every video game. Any likenesses are purely coincidental, unless you can prove that they're not. Right. Which you know. She might. This is Lindsay Lohan. Yeah. Yeah, the low mic. Wasn't she uh, Charlie Sheen's Padawan for a while? Mm, I don't know. Didn't? I know he tried to shove his head in there somewhere when he was going through his. He was like trying to mentor stage. her. Or some bullshit. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that. Man, ten years ago, did I have the hots for her? Oh really, Lindsay? Oh Lohan? God, yeah. When she was in like uh, Freaky Friday. 
that shirt, no, that shirt. Freaky Friday. She switched bodies with her mom. Oh, Jamie Lee uh, Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. It would have been before that. Honestly, uh, that, that movie sucked, and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, not hot. Jamie Lee Curtis only looked hot one movie ever. What? For Don't 30 say seconds. Halloween. You they better not say Halloween. It. For 30 seconds, she looked good in True Lies, dancing for Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah, God. all right. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> that movie sucked. Yes. Did you ever kill anybody? Yeah, but they were all bad. <laughs> <laughs> the worst Schwarzenegger ever. You'll only hear it here on Air Rack Radio. You want to get into my headlines, baby? Can we please never call me baby again? I'm calling you baby every single time. Yeah. Aww, I'm calling you boo-boo. Hey, boo-boo. Hey, boo-boo. I don't think the ranger's going to like this, baby. <laughs> oh boo-boo God. just turned into a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I'm going to paint you a picture. Ooh, pretty picture. Happy trees. All right. You get home from your day's work. You pat the kid on the head. The kid? Or kids. Or dogs or your penis, supposedly. See what happens when you distract him. He's painting a picture. It's funny. (laughs) Just let him Continue painting. (laughs) 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 Whoa. And, uh, you get you're preparing your meal. What do you do when you're preparing your meal? You flick the TV on. Throw on the evening news. How you doing there, 5 o'clock news anchors? And who the hell do you see on your Bismarck local news? The diabos- diabolical Bismarcky? A certain famous anchor man, Mr. Ron Burgundy. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's neat. Will Ferrell's promotional tour for Anchorman 2 has taken some unusual directions, including in-character appearances on Conan <laughs> and a series of ads for Dodge Durango. <laughs> um, yeah. But his strangest to date happened Saturday night in Bismarck, North Dakota, when Farrell co-anchored the evening news on CBS affiliate KXMB. That's fucking awesome. That is awesome. Do we have never audio? Bro- Do we yeah, have- we've got a little bit. Farrell never broke character as he read the actual local headlines alongside regular anchor Amber Schatz. That's awesome. S C H A T C A T Z Schatz. Schatz. Kind of like uh, Schmutt over there with the fucking mall. Schlitz. Uh, I don't know. Uh, can we have the audio and can you make it sound good later for the uh, the podcasters? Both of those answers are yes. Terrific. Good evening, I'm Amber Schatz. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Thanks for joining us tonight. And now Jared joins us with a a first look at the forecast. Jared, how are you? Very very well, Ron. How about yourself? I'm doing great. Yes. Uh, Last time I saw you, you were a lot heavier. I feel like you you lost (laughs) like 50 pounds. Yes, I've lost just a little bit of weight. (laughs) Well, good for you. Thanks thanks for noticing. Good for you. In other news around the state tonight, authorities say a Black Friday shoplifter in Grand Forks abandoned a cart full of stolen items and hit a store employee with her car as she sped away from the parking lot. Police say the incident happened around 9 a.m. Yeah. It appears it was a busy day for responders. <laughs> Firefighters also were called to a Sam's Club in Bismarck to help extinguish a trash fire in the parking lot. Along with Santa's visit, families can enjoy uh, wagon rides, caroling, and some mores <laughs> in downtown Man, Dan. And maybe they'll get a Jack Togo. Who knows? <laughs> but first, meteorologist Jared Piepenberg lets us know if you'll want the extra facial warmth this weekend. He's in the Dakota Storm Center next. So there is uh, North Dakota winter for you. It's mm. coming this way. It's coming. There's no <laughs> escaping it. <laughs> All right. Amber, you look lovely tonight. Thank you, Ron. You too. Are you married? No. (laughs) Well, I am, so don't give me ideas. It's not too often you can call a sheriff's deputy a dummy and get away with it, even though I have. But in rural (laughs) Slope County, North Dakota, there's an exception. An old Crown Victoria sits and waits to surprise speeders who may travel through the county seat of Amidon too fast. Although the actual sheriff says the town of Amidon is more known for its fairgrounds and church, Many residents say the squad car usually sticks out as the most memorable. <laughs> yes. What do you, what do you think? Uh, well, 
I have no idea. <laughs> There's no love lost when it comes to the rivalry between the Austin Bruins and Bismarck Bobcats. Both teams are in a constant battle for the top spot in the NAHL Central Division year in and year out. And there's also Movember for mustaches. I'm fond of those. Ron, I was wondering <laughs> about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How long did it take you to grow that bad boy? This about 20 minutes. <laughs> Impressive. You guys did a good job tonight. Impressive. I can't wait you to do. do it for real. That was a good warm up. Yes, very good warm up. <laughs> oh my god. PX that, News sweatshirt. Is, what is it? Is it a, a burp towel? <laughs> it's cashmere. Oh no. It's a sweatshirt. Sorry. <laughs> that is lovely. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Right. I appreciate yeah. it so much. And, and it was it was wonderful to be here. It really was. Stay classy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh man. Come again. Thank you. Oh, is, am I supposed to read that? <laughs> we gotta see that movie. <laughs> That's great. You know how awesome that would be? <laughs> oh, God, I want to see that on our news channel. But, like, <laughs> it's too late now. Yeah. 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 Thanks, gags over. Whatever other town that was. Bismarck, that got North that, Dakota. The diabolical Bismarck, North Dakota. Damn you, Bismarck! And... I, uh, I gotta tell you. Got way more out of that Ron Burgundy story than I thought we were gonna. Did we? Not gonna lie. Alright. Yeah, sure did. Good. At least three minutes of them doing content for us. Thanks. YouTube and, and, <laughs> and uh, the local CBS affiliate of North Dakota, Bismarck, Bismarck North Dakota. the diabolical the Bismarck, di North Dakota. Bismarck! <laughs> Can we do that at least three more times? No. <laughs> Damn. You know how I love to beat a bit into the ground. You know how I love to end headline news on Ooh. some half-ass headline that I don't really want to do? Well, it's time once again. We don't have to end it because I still have more if you Oh, fuck. Carry I'm on. sorry. I didn't mean to. I thought that we were dying on the cross for Ron Burgundy's sins and Diabolical no, Bismarck. No, I just hadn't North gotten Dakota. over laughing at Diabolical Bismarck. Bismarck! No? Nothing? Damn. Uh, no, I wanted to talk about uh, something that I thought might get your attention a little bit. Too late. Supreme Court well, won't fuck. stop New York State's internet taxation. Bum, bum, bum. Bum. ABC, ABC News. Uh, via the AP, of course. I'm Which, sorry. What's Supreme Court? Do you know? Uh, federal or state? Uh, I believe state. Let me read. Okay. On perhaps, the, on perhaps the busiest online shopping day of the year, the Supreme Court refused on Monday to wade into a dispute over state sales tax on purchases on websites like Amazon.com, an outcome likely to prompt more states to attempt to collect taxes on Internet sales. New York. Leading the way for high taxation. <laughs> it's part of a furious battle, also including legislation in Congress. Uh, among Internet sellers, millions of buyers, ag aggrieved brick-and-mortar stores. We're talking about sales tax here? And states hungry for billions of dollars in extra tax revenue. No, you already paid sales tax, Val. What tax is this? Internet sales tax. Of what percent? Do you know? Don't see that number. That's disappointing. I see many numbers. That's not one of the ones. That's that I like see. the most important number. Uh huh. Because the state sales tax here in, in New York is four percent. And if the state wanted to enact a four percent internet sales tax, I would be like, well. But on the other hand. You already pay your eight and a quarter. I already paid my sales tax, guys. You already paid your eight and a quarter. Are you sure about that? I pay sure eight and a quarter that. on my Amazon. Are you sure this is Amazon and not like eBay? 
Amazon.com LLC and right. Overstock.com okay. INC okay. are the lead of the fight. Hmm. Uh-huh. Educate me, sir. All right. Uh, the high court, without comment, turned away appeals from Amazon.com LLC and Overstock.com INC in their fight against a New York court decision, forcing them to remit sales tax the same way in-state businesses do. This could hurt online shopping oh, in wait. that state. See, so what you're saying is that they had a different level of sales tape ta- of uh, state sales taxes. They're, I don't know what I'm saying. They're asking them to uh, remit. Uh, can you read that line again? See, this is where I'm getting confused because this could hurt online shopping in this in that state since one of the attractions of internet purchasing is the lack of sales tax, which makes some items a little cheaper. I pay sales tax I don't on think Amazon. You pay 8%. I don't think you pay the 8%. I think you pay 4%. I think you pay the state tax, but you don't pay county tax. Hmm. Hmm. I am not against fair taxation for Internet purchases, and I've never been. I think it's ridiculous that for so long, Internet purchases were able to go tax. I think that's silly. I. What the fuck, Internet sales? I mean... All right, if a teeny tiny small business eBay store owner guy like myself. I'm sorry, what was that? Plug it? What? No? Oh, no, we don't plug that yet. You don't want to? No. No, not yet? No. All right. Um, <coughs> if, if a teeny tiny sales, uh, internet salesperson, eBay store owner, uh, doesn't charge sales tax, whatever. But if, when you reach a, a specific level, somewhere between teeny tiny nobody and Amazon, there's there's a lot of gray area there, and I bet we could draw a line somewhere in that gray area and say, from here on out, you pay taxes, just the way all the other stores pay taxes. You're I'm good on my state. I'm good on my eight and a quarter percent. Yeah, that I'm good on. Yeah, I'm I'm not saying an extra tax. An extra tax is bullshit. That's retarded. Except that it saves jobs because like Amazon has less employees than Walmart. Uh Although Amazon is better for your personal economy in the short term, it is far worse for the economy of America in the long term. Then I'm sorry that's going to have to be part of the price of doing business. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to Because as a consumer, I'm going to pay my eight and a quarter percent. Yeah. Because if you charge me more than that, I'll just go back to the brick and mortar stores that are charging me eight and a quarter percent. Well, but you got to drive to them. Yeah, but I still would to save money, and you know it. If internet shopping is cheaper, that's why you do it. You said I've said a million times that I'm willing to go to the store to get something that's more expensive. I haven't said that. And you told me, screw that, wait and buy it on eBay or Amazon because it'll be cheaper. Way fucking cheaper. Exactly. Yeah. If it was cheaper at the store, you'd just go to the store and get it. Maybe. Uh, unless, of course, it could be delivered to your backyard Ooh. in less than 30 minutes. Holy segue, Batman. <laughs> yes, wow. sir. Good job. I- How could we ever get... A package delivered to my door in less than 30 minutes and not involve a pizza driver. Uh, it's funny that you even mentioned pizza drivers. It's, I was topical because I have foresight about uh-huh. where we're going here. Uh, Amazon reveals it wants to deploy delivery drones. Bum, bum, bum. They call it uh, Amazon Prime Air. Hey, you know who else had an army of drones? Funny enough. The Empire? The... Uh, Oh, those are clones. The pirate fox oh, captain from Tailspin. Did he have drones? For an episode, he had an army of drones. Ooh. Well, this, this is an octocopper. Octocopper? You'll octocopper. never catch me alive, octocopper. It's got it's the helicopter with the little eight spinning blades. Eight? Eight. Wow. Little tiny spinning blades. That's redundancies. I like that in something that's delivering my It gives you the maneuverability you need. Because you can slow or speed up one rotor at a time, or two rotors, How or three that rotors. Work? Will somebody be controlling it, and it has a camera on it, or something? Well, it's uh, they actually run GPS. How will that work? Is Google gonna d- design the operating system for that? They already do. The drones that you can buy, the octocoppers that you can buy, yeah, will run right on your Google phone. It's a GPS. So what? But that's with a human pilot. 
No, autopilot. Yeah, but what if it... You just program in the destination and it'll fly there. Really? What if something's in its way, though? Do you have one of these? You nailed it at the top of my head. No, but uh, one of the radio guys I listen to does and talks about it a lot. No. How does it know if somebody's standing there? <laughs> you nailed it on the head. Oh, uh, go, go, no, uh, all right, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 you go ahead. Because that's kind of, I'll come back to that. Google has uh, the vehicles, the, the Google car, uh -huh. that has a kind of radar. It, it's some kind of radar. Super fancy. It's like with two R's or something. I don't know. <laughs> I guess radar. Radar. I guess radar has two R's. So I, I guess Google three radar R's. has three R's. Radar. <laughs> no, it's uh, radar. Uh, I don't know what it's radar. called. Anyway. <laughs> radar. <laughs> anyway. Uh, it scans 360 degrees, 120 times a second, to see what's in your path, and is capable of making the computations required to make you stop before you hit a child in the road. Uh, Until yeah. it malfunctions. It hasn't yet. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, Google cars yeah, have been on the roads. Uh, oh man, I I was not prepared with all. The, I have the numbers. I do have the numbers. They are impressive. Somewhere. But that's a car. Um, a drone's different. Uh, go the Google car. A drone is different. Has done on average three times better than a human-driven car. They say that the drones technology for um, sensing other. I don't drones, know that I would trust it to fly a aircraft right. in three dimensions. Communicate with right, other drones on an aircraft control level is the one of the major problems with this. Um, you also then have to turn every shipping yard for Amazon. Yeah. Into a mini airport. Well, that's going to be your mighty expensive Amazon. Uh, well, how many though? Because these things have to carry packages, so they can't be teeny tiny. Pretty they mini. I mean, it's a mini airport, either. but I mean, these things are probably about this. You know, half the size of the table. It has to what be pretty table? small. The one we're sitting at. Our listeners can't see it. Well, I can't help them. It's like four six by four. It's so half the size. That's thing. probably a two by two, two by two, two and a half by two and a half. Man, that ain't delivering shit. Hey, actually, the pocket packages it's carrying are not very big. It's not bringing you a widescreen television. This seems non-functional. It's uh, it's not going to be functional, dude. What's stopping neighborhood kids from throwing rocks at it and stealing I'm your saying, fucking bag? What's stopping, stopping me from doing that? From waiting, you see a drone coming, you're like, oh, I'm going to go grab that part. I'm going to hijack that drone like, and recycle yeah, it for gold. Right. The video that they have made, that Amazon has made about it, the promotional video they already have built. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, has it landing in people's backyards? Oh, they did that already. They did. Oh, they video? already have the promotional video set They're up, retarded. chopping up their children on with YouTube. Helicopter blades of death. Uh, too soon for something like into that. the suburban backyard. And um, then uh, my question is: uh, I lived. I don't, but proverbial, uh, metaphorically, I don't know. Whatever. I'm fictitiously. For. Yeah, fictitiously. I live in New York City. Or a trailer park. Where are you gonna land that fucking thing that you're not gonna hit somebody on the roof? Of New York City. Of most buildings, you can't get to the roof. Yeah, you That's can. That's maintenance only. Drone, dude. What's going to yeah, stop you? Gonna you? Get your no, you Amazon has a drone. Yeah. You yeah. are in an apartment. Yeah. Well, you're going to need a fishing pole. <laughs> <laughs> Duh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. See, there's a there's a major flaw you in your plan. You know where it's going to be feasible? Really rich neighborhoods. That's where you're going to. No, see it's that not. Shit. It's not feasible. It's at not all. feasible it's just, at all. And drones are expensive. This is not feasible at all. Some guy brought it to me at work today, and I was like, "Well, I'll do my research." That's uh, I, and I appreciate that that particular individual brought you an idea, and I thought it was very cool. But that particular individual doesn't listen to our show and could not be brought to. He actually seemed distasted when I said I'm actually I will mention I'm going to talk about another show. Yeah, he was like, "Oh, okay, goodbye." He walked away. Ugh. What a stupid idea. This is more stupid than trying to get the idiot customers of Walmart, of which I'm one, to bring other people's packages to them for gas money. I think it's pronounced Double stupider. backwards callback segue, Batman? That was just last week. Yeah. I was at Walmart this week, uh, as it happens on Black Friday. Now you will... Uh, I'm sorry, no. On Thanksgiving Day. It was Thanksgiving Day. <coughs> oh, Thanksgiving Day? On Thanksgiving Day, I went to Walmart. But it was like early. It was it was in the morning. I I didn't go because I was like Christmas shopping or any bullshit like that. I went because there was something we needed and it, and it could only be had at Walmart. And there were two greeters working. Oh, right. at the door I came in. All right. 
What uh-huh. do you What do you uh-huh. think they said to me? Happy holidays. Welcome to Walmart. Try again. Happy Black Friday. Welcome to Walmart. Try again. Welcome to Walmart. Nope. Keep trying. Nothing at all. They said nothing to me and just continued on with their chatter amongst themselves. Walmart is literally paying people to talk to each other in their stores. Now, there happens to be like a minimum wage controversy at places like Walmart. and, And I generally am torn on this issue because I do think that we need to pay employees more. But not if that's what the fuck they're going to be doing. These two girls were just standing there chatting it up with each other. And when I they left... Weren't, it wasn't like an old person? No. No, 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 no. No, this wasn't some old two old biddies talking about the fucking Great War. No, no. Because usually it's some old guy or a half a... You know, he's a little slow. He's a little mo mo Nope. These were two 20-something women. Little on a re-re. And they was just chit-chatting to each other. And for minimum wage. When I left, it was still those same girls, and they were still clucking away at each other. I bet those two bitch a lot about how much they get paid. Now, I will say it was Thanksgiving morning, so what fucking ever. You know, like, I don't want to judge them. I don't know their situation. A lot of people get bitch about what they get paid, and I'm one of them. A lot of people bitch about what they get paid. These two were getting paid for standing still, chatting to each other. Chit, 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 chat. But that was that was my Walmart tie-in. I'm sorry. It was a good segue. Are we at the end of headline news? Uh, yeah, I'm out. All right. I don't even want to read this headline. Come part. on, give it to me. I want one uh, more. Cause scam Come on, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I said it. No, do it again. Scam customers probably can't sue. Uh, uh, scammed customers probably cannot sue. Yeah, here we have a boring story about um, a bunch of people in Pittsburgh area. Pittsburgh, uh, pretty, pretty New York? Local. Yeah, yeah. All right, right well, this is, this is a local story. hashtag listen local, hashtag rock, hashtag podcast. Uh, um, this is from 13wham.com. Wham. Wham. Um. <laughs> Basically, a bunch of people had signed up for a contract with Robinson and Resurrection Lawn and Landscape. <laughs> Rob- Robertson? Rob- Robinson. Robinson. I'm Robinson people. And Resurrection. And Resurrected three days later. Disappeared with your Resurrection. <laughs> Landscaping. This dude... uh was a smooth operator, man. He's, I'm going to rob you in the name of Christ. He set himself up a nice website that looked real legit. He probably used, like, Squarespace or something like that. Made a, <laughs> <laughs> made a really nice website. Squarespace, don't us because we love you. Yeah, man, this is an ad for you, I guess. Uh, pro- he had a really nice website people commented on. Um, he talked the talk. He walked the walk. He sold people plow contracts. I've been thinking about doing it myself. At 200 bucks a shot. Yeah, the difference is you own a plow truck. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I mean, this guy might own a plow truck. I don't know. Nobody's ever seen him since. <laughs> 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 this is a pretty usual scam, actually, though. Yeah. They usually oh, hit old hell people. Yeah. Listen, folks, don't ever, ever pay a contract fee for plowing in Rochester, New York, unless... It's by some really recognizable name. He should at least show up in the truck. He might have. I don't know. If you don't show up in a Toyota, if you show up in a Toyota, this is probably not. He the guy didn't for you. show up in the truck on a snowy day. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know that for sure. <laughs> so a bunch of folks got scammed to the tune of two hundred bucks. This guy walked away with probably a cool, I don't know, maybe five grand he made on this scam, uh-huh. and and then moved on to a different town where he's probably doing it somewhere else. Uh, so that's Robinson and Resurrection. If your plow guy talks to you about Jesus, get a different plow guy. I don't care if you like what he says. Listen, you're not hiring a guy to plow your driveway based on his religious value. You're hiring him based on his ability to plow your driveway. Resurrecting Jesus, Ugh. only in the snowbanks. So there's your headline news. 
It's the head nine news. When we come back, we're gonna loosely string together a weird ass conspiracy. I thought. Yeah, I like this. We did uh, JFK last week. We're gonna do a, another conspiracy this week. This yeah, I had a thought, and luckily it stuck with me for long enough to still be able to say it at the end of the show. That's a segment or so right there. I tell you what. Mm-hmm. I want a special thanks out there, real quick. Do you want who I, you know who I want to give a special thanks to? I don't. It's our brothers. It's our brethren. ROC Podcast. Ah, uh, yes, our good friends. com at ROCPodcast.com. Run by the fearless leader, the great leader, Vinny Paulino. All hail, great leader. That should go to his head nicely. Just give it to him. All hail. All hail, great leader. Uh, anything you Any other plug? cocks you want to choke on real quick? <laughs> 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 I'm done sucking off Vinny for a while. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to mention ROC Podcast. Absolutely. Folks. And the family of podcasts. Check out ROC Podcasts. Uh, after the holidays, it's looking uh, very likely that we're going to do a joint show with the Mental Overload show. Oh, God, I'm so looking forward to so this. So if you haven't checked out their show, uh, I recommend that you do. I definitely recommend that you do. And I'm going to throw them a little taste in the break here. Like, do it before you listen to them on our show so that when you listen to them on our show or us on their show or however that works out, both. Well, however it works out, you should have a clear understanding of what you're getting into. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give him a little taste. I'm going to give him a little taste in the break. I got a little mental overload taste. Ooh. For him in the break, you want to hear it? I'll play I it do. Going to yes, the break. play it for me. Folks, that's been Headline News. Here's a little piece of production from our friends at Mental Overload Show. Followed by some music. Yo, the Mental Overload Show is great. Always great. It's funny. It's very funny. We want to give every listener that what the fuck look. And we do that with our original content because our topics are unlike no other. We we don't do the mainstream media thing. We do shit that people have to deal with every day and make fun of it. Oh yeah, we talk about runaways. We talk about gorilla titties. We don't give a fuck. We talk about them blacks. We talk about them spicks. We talk about them whites. We talk about everybody. Hey, everybody. Original content. We guarantee at least 12 laughs per episode. Yep. And we even talk about priests. Priests, they're great. They're, they're, they're great, great molesters. They perfected it. So if you're bored, you got some downtime, you want some mindless entertainment, check it out. MentalOverloadShow.com. Mindless entertainment at its finest. Do it now or we'll hammer fist your grandmother in the church. That sounds nice. Woody Woodpecker was fun. What? What? Huh? Who? Oh, yeah. MentalOverloadShow.com. Mindless entertainment at its finest. Oh, the way of a patient man is on the road that never ends. The horizon is ever changing, but the patient man endures all the same. Now, have you noticed in your travels that the steadfast souls who stay the course suffer opposition, yet find redemption?
rising, is ever changing, but the patient man endures all the Oh, the way of the patient man is on the road that never ends. The rising, is ever changing, but the patient man endures all the same. But the patient man endures all the same. But the patient man endures all the same. Thank you for listening. We want to take a moment to speak to you about a subject that I am sure is close to all of our hearts. All we are asking for is a few simple seconds of your day to save one of these poor creatures. Abused, neglected, and forgotten. It's simply disturbing. These pseudo broadcasters are left without anyone to interview or to create all their content for them. Let's face it, this job's a lot easier when someone else does all the heavy lifting. Please, take just a few seconds of your day to help these poor neglected creatures by emailing them ericradio at gmail.com with your booking suggestions and feedback. Thank you for your time and compassion. I'm bringing this back. No re-rack? No re-rack. I'm going to bring it back. It's true because it rhymes, son. All right. Welcome back to Air Rec Radio. Thank you for sticking in it with us through that. Uh, yeah, stick it in you. Air Rec Radio. Written uh, headline news. Headline news. Uh, we're moving on to a little thing that I want to call Conspiracy Corner, but I don't know that it's a segment or not I don't know yet. if it is yet or not. It might be its own podcast. 
That's what I know. But last week we did, uh, 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 we touched, we grazed the very surface of well, last the week Kennedy was the, assassination. It was the 50th anniversary of the yes. Ken- Kennedy assassination, if you believe in that sort of thing. No, he was definitely assassinated. Yeah, but anniversaries might be a conspiracy sent to us by the uh, the New World Order. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> the idea that the Earth goes around the sun is perhaps planted. You don't know that shit. How the fuck would you know? Just saying. So, this week, I uh, I had a loosely strung together thought that I thought... <laughs> Listener, since you're a listener and not a viewer, I'd like to point out that if you did hear a noise just now, it was Corey destroying his mic by smashing his forehead <laughs> into it. He will not be saying any more words for the entirety of this show. Oh my <laughs> god, I can't believe you even said it out loud. Oh god. So, the NSA has these huge data collection uh, facilities. Huge. Yeah, giant. Like miles and miles. Fucking massive. Giant. I, I wish that I had done any research for this, but this is a conspiracy. I don't really have to do any research. Somebody else would do it for me and prove or disprove me. Or both, or neither. I'm not Usually a conspiracy neither. guy, and even if I was, it wouldn't matter what I think. So <coughs> they say that that space is for metadata, but I heard a number. Uh, from a, from a source that I trust, but not enough to give you their name. 55 ter- quadrillion terabytes. What's that? Uh, the memory capacity. Is that the made up number you just made up? Yes. Okay. Uh, I heard a number that I didn't make up, and I trust the person who said it before me to have not made it up themselves. However, the person before that, I don't can't know. speak to that. Um, I heard it on a podcast that I, that I know and trust. Uh, all of that data, all, if you took all of the metadata of all the world's interactions, it would fit in a, a room 12 by 12 with current uh, storage Server capacity. capacity. Yeah. Okay. 12 feet by 12 feet. This, uh, this place they got, and I think it's in Utah. Like I said, didn't research this at all. But it's a huge, giant giant storage facility giant like uh like rochester listeners picture kodak tech park out there by uh by what ridgeway avenue where the, all that tubing and shit runs like that size only bigger and it's all storage obviously that's not metadata uh no that's where the aliens are and we know now that that uh, thanks to the the disclosures by uh, by the whistleblowers, such as Edward Snowden in particular, who is um, not real and or a gay alien, could be. That's uh, that's one theory that I haven't heard yet. <laughs> I read the headline. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Edward Snowden. Possibly a gay alien? He looks like an alien. Find out inside. In Russia, he is an alien. Yes, there yeah. you go. Um, so it's been, it's, it's, it's understood that that data that they're collecting isn't actually metadata. It's actually recorded data that they can use at their whim to construct cases against you backwardsly. Oh, yeah. What's that? Backwards construction. Backwards constructed cases, they call yeah. it. Uh, now, here's the conspiracy that I thought of. Uh, have you heard of... You made this up? Yeah. Okay. Yes, this is my own conspiracy. You have invented you... this. Let's start this shit. I All did. Right. I did. Have you heard of... Uh, so I'm going to try sim- to prove you. Simulation you. theory? Yes. Roughly. Loosely. Try again. Play the part for the for the listeners. Corey, have you heard of simulation theory? I theory? have no idea what you're talking about. Well, there's this group of uh, scientists... That that have done some math, some big complicated math, and they have found it to be more likely than not likely that our current reality is in fact a simulation on a computer somewhere. Now, let that sink in. Let that sink in. Okay. Now you would have no way of knowing if you lived in, horseshit. for example, the Matrix. Yes. Doesn't matter. 
what we're gonna get we're gonna get off into we're gonna get off we're gonna get off into a rant doesn't matter doesn't matter if it's a simulation or not no, it it's your life as you perceive you have, it yeah, yeah. I, I agree. It I has no <laughs> fucking bearing. You could tell me it's all a simulation tomorrow, and I'd be like, well, that's a leap of faith. Oh, yeah, whatever. Show, you'd show matter. me stone-cold proof, and I'd still be like, well, I have to believe that the proof you're showing me is... It would require a leap of faith that I'm not capable of making. But I am capable of making the leap of faith that says that it is likely, and we are certainly nearing the technological ability to do that. But what re what ability we have today is the ability to record. So here's the conspiracy here, folks. What if that building is a data collection facility where they're collecting data from all of our lives, all of our walking arounds, all of the Batman machine that found the Joker? All that data is being collected in this building to create our created reality so that when the asteroid comes and wipes us all out, we're still good. Little copies of us. Blueprints the for the Matrix. Is that what you're getting at here? It's the rudimentary blueprints for a Matrix kind no, of thing? No, it's the initial data collection for... Four of the blueprints for a Matrix. Uh, yeah. I'd like to think a more benevolent kind of Matrix where we're not just batteries. Well, we're probably batteries. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? Whatever, Who I'm fine. Who cares? Who cares? I still live my life. Loved and lost and ate some food and jerked off. No, <laughs> no, you didn't because you're a simulation. Doesn't matter. It was all fake. Doesn't matter. None of it was real. <laughs> Who cares? I don't care. You could be your own copy right now. You wouldn't even know. It doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't really, matter. you might think it does matter, but he's dead, so who cares? Exactly. Right. So it doesn't matter. Does not matter. You're really ruining this conspiracy thing with your apathy. I gotta tell you, it's it's hard to sell a conspiracy I barely believe in when you're not willing to believe in it either. <laughs> I do. I I uh, I want to believe in it. It just seems a little benevolent. It really does. It doesn't have to be. What if they're designing it to make a personal hell for each and every one of us? How's that? Are you are you willing to grasp onto that one? They're learning what you like and don't like. Xbox One is using its Connect to read your blood temperature and how you respond to certain stimuli, so that they know what makes you fucking tick. So when they want to make you talk, oh, they can they make, make you talk. They make you talk, maybe. Oh. Maybe. Oh, God, it's so dirty. It feels so good. Well. Oh, make me talk, Microsoft. Make me talk. Got anything else for this final break? Okay. Let me, let, I want to, I got to bring it back around here. Hold on. Oh, okay. Simulation theory. It is more likely that we are simulation in a computer somewhere, or even a uh, a dream, a uh, a hallucination yes. of some benev uh, malevolent being. Malevolent? Is that the malevolent, word? yeah. Some, yeah some unaware third party might be dreaming us. Yeah. And we're just a result of... Just their, as likely as simulation we're, we're just theory. a result of their brain chemistry enacted on a cosmic scale mm -hmm. to us, but to them it's um, just microcosmos, just teeny tiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just as likely. Yeah. Uh, More likely, in fact. Probably. There's at least there's biology involved in that, uh, which is much more solid, believable fact. Hey, man, I saw Men in Black. I know. The universe is on Orion's collar. Oh, all right. Uh, Little cat's collar. I saw the, the movie. I saw the movie. I didn't know if you got, like, flashed by Agent K and just couldn't remember. Nope, Corey got flashed tonight by Agent Molson. Oh yeah, by Agent <laughs> Molson. If uh, I liked the end of MIB too when he opens the lock, when he opens the door, the do not open door, and we're nothing but a, a locker in a cosmic train station. Because in the movie they went to a civilization of people that were nothing but in a train station locker in New York City. <laughs> Oh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was going to be MIB too. Yeah, yeah it was. sure was. Yeah. Boy, where were we? Sea Fight Club. That's where <laughs> we were. Sea <laughs> Fight Club. Oh, we were on simulation simulation theory and how the NSA is collecting all this data 
And it's data. It's not metadata, folks. Stop kidding your fucking selves. No, it's data. It's like, every text you send, every email you send, the ones and zeros of your daily life are it, being stored at this giant facility. It'd probably be harder to do all the audio, but at least a large consistency of the audio is at least being skimmed for keywords. I don't think it's. I don't think that it's being skimmed so much as I think that it's being collected so that if they should ever decide they want to skim it, they can. And it can be skimmed for keywords via yeah. a computer program. Key ones and zeros. Uh huh. Key ones and zeros. Uh, in order to create a alternate reality to continue at least the consciousness of civilization. Some kind of recording that perpetuates itself. Is this like in uh, Star Trek Next Generation where they took over Picard's mind and told him the whole story? A lifetime worth of a man's oh, story. Oh, with the flute. The with stupid the, flute. With the flute. That yeah, he yeah, played. where he had to wear a hat because the sun was going supernova. And they were like, everybody was all right with that. They just wore a hat and were like, whatever. <laughs> Little sunscreen. Every now and then your sun goes supernova. Whatever. <laughs> Every now and then it goes and destroys the whole the science system. wasn't really there for that show. <laughs> for that particular episode of that Is that show. what you're going for here? Just kind of a hologram, holographic uh, museum? No, hologram theory is something entirely different. And it certainly allows for teleportation. But we're not getting into that conspiracy oh, without a physicist God. in our pocket. It's not a conspiracy. It's just science fuzzy. Whatever. It's fuzzy science. Don't care. This is a fuzzy end to a fuzzy it's show. A podcast, yeah. I don't know it was kind of fun though. I had a blast. It's it's there's a bunch of B reel and we're gonna save the it. The B reel was fun too. We're gonna save it for B rec radio. B rec radio. Perhaps ramble rec radio. I don't know what we're I, gonna call it. I like it. both of those. I yeah, like you, of course too. you do. I said them. Duh. 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 I'm totally awesome. I am totally awesome. You mm. see my beard? It's luxurious. I uh I killed mine. I noticed. I was like December first, gone. Oh fuck no! I'm I'm hanging in there until at least January. Well, I'd like to say February. I thought about maybe going one more month. I'm uh, definitely in for it. the new year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm all in on the on the beard for for the time being. None of the, my lady friends enjoy it. They really? all told me to shame. My only lady friend. Well, I have a lot of lady friends, but like the one that is like the lady friend, like you mean it. Mm-hmm. Says she likes it. I don't know if she's lying and protecting my ego, but whatever. Might be possible. I don't care. She said she likes it. That's what she gets. Yeah, <laughs> should have told me the truth, and I'd shave that shit right off. I do care, but I prefer that uh, you know. <laughs> you tell say it. I assume you meant it. Yeah, tell me the truth. I'd shave that shit right off. You lied to me. It's your own fucking fault. Yeah. Exactly. Man, we're finding fault at the end of Air Rack Radio in a hypothetical situation that didn't actually happen. <sighs> On people. Whoa. Women. This that has been a here. negative show. This has been a, from uh, abortions with coat hangers oh, to God, hanging don't, yourself don't bring it with back up again with the, uh, the terrible. Uh, don't die. All right. Initiating Folks, riots. We're all done here. Have a good night. Have a merry week after Thanksgiving. The people get stabbed to death. First week of Christmas shopping for broke folks like myself. Uh, We'll see you next week on Air Rack Radio. Delivery of Amazon drones. Where we will have a brand new stream of bullshit that we're going to call Headline News. Perhaps we'll have some kind of new conspiracy. Who knows? We'll probably have another $20 offer for you. Maybe. Maybe it'll be the same $20 offer refined. This has been Air Rack Radio. Check us out. AirRackRadio.com. Email us. AirRackRadio at gmail.com. Find us on rocpodcast.com. That's the big one. Go there. Like the other shows. Listen to the other shows and then decide if you like them. But go in understanding that you should like them. Do it. Out of, like, Catholic shame. We told you to. Do it. Remember. I forgot. Thanks for joining us. It's late in the Taking my comforts, taking good care of me, sitting down in my easy chair, taking a sip of my sassafras tea.
probably just another wrong number But someone tried to send me something I can't even see Well, I got the solution How to deal with this insanity Just sit down in my easy chair And take a big sip of my sassafras tea Podcasts.com.